Hey there, folks. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. I thought it was important to do one now, considering with the new year coming. And as usual, California legislature has been unusually active. Probably the most one of the laws I've seen since 2019. Perhaps they got COVID fever and they were just going crazy. But there's a lot of stuff here that can affect California employers as well as employees. So I thought it'd be important to at least start covering some of the ones that I believe broadly affect employers. So I will start by covering some of the laws that are covering five or more employees empl for those employers. The first one is an interesting one. It's called AB1041, uh, and it basically is regarding SUFRA, which is the California Family Rights Act, which governs the leave that somebody can take for to take care of someone. So there's not been any substantive change. Well, I shouldn't say substantive because there is one but the reality is, if you work somewhere for more than a year or 1,250 hours, you're entitled to take up to 12 weeks to take care of someone. Initially, it was someone yourself, a child, parent, parent-in-law. But what's really unique this time around is that apparently California has decided that family is not defined by what we think traditionally. So now you can do someone do something called a designated person. So once a year you are allowed to tell your employer, I'm going to take care of, it could be pretty much anyone, um, someone that you consider to be a family. Is the, code, the word that it was used is someone that you identify as a family member. So it could be a cousin, could be a family friend, it could be a childhood friend, but you have to basically, employers have to honor that. And so this is a very interesting way of really putting it because the reality is that with the broadening of everything that's going on lately, that causes can cause a lot of issues. Now, this is also considered an unlawful employment practice if you refuse to honor that request. Guess what? I guess this is into wage and hour. You do an or gets into the civil rights department where they can get it potentially a right to sue letter. So be aware. I tell employees all the time. Um, you know, the reality is that if you um communicate with your employer clearly what your expectations are and you kind of tell them you're aware of what the laws are, more often than not, the department will back, but the boss will back off. And I tell employers that make sure you talk to someone like us who will tell you about the new laws because this is a relatively new development. It does sound, to be honest, if somebody told me this without any backing, just told me in general, they, hey, I could pretty much pick anyone to take care of for, for up to four weeks. I would think that they're crazy, you know, I'm sorry, 12 weeks. And I would think that would be crazy. But the reality is you can do so now in California. So that's the first law. I'll continue later on with some more. Thank you for listening.